Welcome back to another Young in the Home here at Young in the Parks. I wonder how long we'll have to be in quarantine until I stop saying that because every one of these is Young in the Home. I know. <laughs> That's kind of sad. It's been two months. Yeah. Um, oh. we, we just heard uh, as of the time of this filming that Disney Springs will be opening up uh, May 20th, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, May 20th. Um, Not everything. And yeah, everybody's really excited about it, but it's just third party stores and only a few restaurants. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna like quasi break quarantine to go to an Aeropostale. Or, or, I'm sorry, an Anthropology rather. I heard there's no Aeropostale. Yeah, I'm I was sorry. like, there's no one there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are just select stores um, and restaurants open. There's nothing that we need or want. Yeah, no. There. If it was like World of Disney opening, then. Sure. Like, sign me up. Yeah, no, but, but also. We're good. Yeah. We're waiting. We'll, we'll wait. No worries. Yeah. Um, but in today's video, we are going to be doing a little Shop Disney haul. So these are all things that we purchased off of ShopDisney.com um, that we got during the quarantine. Um, so we'll just show off kind of what we bought and uh, Kayla will take it from there. First up, I have probably my favorite purchase ever. Is this Winnie the Pooh crossbody? So it's a giant Winnie the Pooh head, very reminiscent of the Tokyo Disney like merchandise, where it's just like plushy, cute things that are also accessories. Sign me up. So it is a crossbody, and he has this lovely retro strap. And he has a little handle. Um, the strap is also detachable in the back, so you can wear it as a backpack if you wanted to. It's also really, really, really soft. I love him. And then um, it opens up. It's one large park pocket um, inside, and then there's a little tag um, that says little honey pot keychain. And then inside, like I said, it's just one big pocket in there, but you can kind of see super cute um, Pooh and all his friends on balloons, like kind of a satin finish on the inside. Um, I have absolutely nowhere to carry him right now, <laughs> but I am so glad that I wanted him. I saw him like a few weeks ago and then kind of just couldn't stop thinking about him online, so then I just bought it. The next thing I got is another Winnie the Pooh item. I got this tumbler, sipper, um, as you saw, maybe from our Disney mug collection. I really like fun sippers. Um, so this is like a double insulated sipper. It's got a bunch of glitter and confetti in there and like carts and sh stars um, shaped. And then it has a bunch of Winnie the Poohs, just different expressions. Um, and then it has a nice like rubber silicone lid. Um, so super easy to take on and off and clean. Um, it did not come with a straw. Um, just keep that in mind. It wasn't supposed to, but, um, but I drink my iced coffee out of this every morning and I love it. The third thing that I got was the It's a Small World Attraction U Gears model puzzle kit. Um, if you've seen these before, you know that Disney has quite a few. They've got Cinderella's Castle, the um, railroad station, the Mad Tea Party, um, and the monorail. We actually have the monorail. Um, so this is the second one, and I've gotten da -da -da -da, this far with it. So I'm almost done. I'd say I'm 75% of the way there. However, we have run into a problem. So if you've ever built one of these models before, they're actually not our favorite um, to be constructed. They're not difficult to put together per se, but when you're working with the gears, some of them are just not like manufactured correctly. So the physical gears like don't always fit together the way they should in order for it to move. So like here, the clock face, you know, should move back and forth. The front doors should also actually open fully and that's where all the small world children should be like coming out of. Um, and that's where we personally got stuck. Um, I spent probably three and a half hours on this far um, and it was all working fine until now. So I think what I have to do is take it apart a bit and then put it, try to put it back together and see if it's somewhere where I went wrong. But 
Um, if you look at reviews for this brand, you'll see they are just very, very, very particular when you get the ones with the actual gears, um, the mechanics of it. It's just kind of like cheap wood, so it doesn't always fit perfectly. Um, I'm still pretty happy with it though. I think I can get it figured out. It'll look cute on like our book bookshelf. Um, I do also want to paint the front of it. Um, so if anyone works with like models or wood or crafts, let me know if there's any um, kind of paint that I should look for um, or do so that I can do that. I definitely just want to do the front. Now it's my turn. I bought a bunch of pins. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Um, the first one that I got, I'm super excited about. This is the Earth Day 2020 Celebrating 50 Years Limited Edition pin starring Mr. Flick from A Bug's Life. Uh, really, really cool pin. Uh, it does move, which is interesting. I'm usually not super crazy about pins that like articulate move because a lot of times it doesn't work super well. Um, but this one's cool. It just kind of rotates back and forth. Flick is on his, um, what do you call that? Dandelion. Is that a dandelion? Like, like Pod. Fluff, pod, fluff, I guess. He's on his little fluff when he's like leaving the island to um, go find his heroes to fight off the grasshoppers. Um, but it's a cool little Earth Day pin, moves around, pretty neat. Um, next up we have the mm, April collection, I almost said March or May, I don't even know what month it is anymore. Um, the April collection for the Minnie Mouse main attraction pin set. Uh, this was Small World this month. Uh, all the sets for this collection are attraction based from the parks. Um, this is Small World, of course. So we have the Small World face over on the left here, looking all happy. Uh, we've got Minnie in the middle with her old Small World garb. And then on the far right, we've got the Small World ears, which I'm actually just noticing it has the different numbers from the clock in the bow. Oh, I never I didn't even, even saw that. I never even noticed that. It's hard wow. to see because of the glitter. Yeah, the glitter is like blue and it was printed in like that yeah. white periwinkle. How cool is so that? So it has the numbers. I love that. This is yeah. my favorite one to date that they've come yeah, out with. so Just far. The color and style is so cute. Um, the only thing I'm kind of bummed about, and a lot of other people complained about this too, is the Small World pin itself is very poorly made. Uh, there is a lot of extra resin and, and pieces on the side of the pin. There's a lot of pollocking and little just, just pock marks on the side of it. It's like scuffed in a bunch of places. Um, so it's kind of a bummer. A ton of people complained about that. It was just like maybe not super quality control for some of these small world pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm honest, personally not too too picky about stuff like that. I mean, heck, we have a bunch of scrappers that I don't really care about. I just like the pins. So I'm not looking to sell any of these, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's a little bit of a bummer when you spend like four hours trying to get pins and then they come and it's just kind of like murk. Next and last, I actually got a mystery pin set. The Adventure is out there mystery pin set. I'd seen it a bunch in the parks and it was only until I saw the pictures of these pins on the website that I actually decided to order some because in the parks, it shows the different pins you could possibly get on the back of the box and they all just kind of look very drab and just whatever. But they all have like a really nice, you know, some of them have like glitter. So like this Minnie Mouse one here has like glitter in there and a nice sparkle to it and it's just really pretty. And then the Simba pin that I got here has like a nice metallic sheen in there in the balloon that really pops. And you just don't see that on the back of the box. So I think in the future, when I see these mystery pin sets come out i'm gonna really check the website just to get another idea of what they look like because i just don't think the back of some of these mystery pin boxes does a lot of these pins justice um so yeah i got mini and simba mini i liked a lot simba was just okay um there were some other ones that i liked more like the rapunzel one was purple with the big bright sun in the middle that was really nice and a couple others um, but if you like these pins i might end up trading simba um to somebody um, but we'll see i like these pins a lot they're really cool and that is our Shop Disney Quarantine Haul. Yeah, so we've been um, trying to find a nice spring Disney at home, making some recipes, watching the movies, buying merch. Um, yep. <laughs> so yeah, have you guys been buying anything online from Shop Disney? What are some of the favorite things that you've bought? Or other small shops, how are you bringing Disney at home during these kind of uncertain times? Yeah. Let us know about that in the comments below. 
Um, if you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our adventures, make sure to subscribe, click on that bell icon to get notified every time we go live with new videos. And as always, we will see you next time here, Young in the Home.